Hey, buckaroos and buckarettes, it's good to be back with you. Today I'd like to talk to you about MathCAD Prime 8. No, no, not, not, not that kind of Prime 8. Different kind of Prime 8. MathCAD Prime version 8. Now, for my money, there is no easier way to do technical calculations than MathCAD using the new version, MathCAD Prime. Now, many of us are familiar with MATLAB, which is very powerful and very widely used, rightly so in my opinion. MathCAD Prime is a very different way to go about the problem of doing technical calculations. It looks like a, like a scratch pad. You write out equations on the screen pretty much like you'd write them out on paper. And it's a live document, kind of like a spreadsheet, so that when you change something above, that change just flows down through the document. Now, I've been using MathCAD for a long time. The earliest version I used was running in DOS, so you get an idea how long ago that was. It was before Windows. The new version, version 8 of MathCAD Prime, is really pretty good, and I recommend it. Plotting's a little weird, but that's okay. We can get around that. So this first video is going to be an introduction to what Prime 8 is and the basics of how to use it. If there's enough interest, follow-on videos will show you some of the more specific and useful features of it. So enough of me talking, let's go to my computer and take a look at it. Okay, here we are in MathCAD Prime version 8. If you have Prime version 7, that's okay, it's going to look kind of like this. Much before that, you probably want to do an upgrade because there are some, some functional changes and some error corrections and things you'll want. So the first thing you need to know about MathCAD is that there are a couple different kinds of equal signs, and that's kind of the power of it. So the first one that we're interested in, I'm going to go up to Operators here. Uh, so I'm on the Math uh, tab there. Go to Operators. See that thing right there? Let me pull this over. I can't pull that over. You can't really see it on the screen here, I guess. But there's a colon equals, and that means I want to tell MathCAD something. I want to make an assignment. So I'm going to define a function here, and I'll just make one up. Sign x, and let's divide that by something here just to make it interesting. There, there's a function, all right? And the way I got that colon equals was I actually typed in the full colon on the keyboard. Um, if you go under operators, uh, there's a couple of equal signs available to you there, and one of them is that colon equals. But on the keyboard, just hit the full colon sign. It's right above the semicolon on my keyboard. So I've defined this. Well, can I evaluate it? Sure. Let's there. Let's just put in a value of 1 for x. And now I'm going to hit the equal sign. Now this really is the equal sign on the keyboard. This means, MathCAD, I want you to tell me something. So there it is. Now, there's another kind of, not really an equal, but it's an evaluation sign. Go under Symbolics. See that right there? Eh, yeah, I guess you can see that. That's the symbolic evaluation. So let's say I want to do something like find a derivative. So let's see, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go into Operators, and I think you can see this on the screen here. There you go. Derivative with respect to x of f of x. Now, I could evaluate this numerically if I want to, but I want it symbolically, which means instead of pushing numbers around, I want to push symbols around. So this is that third kind of essentially equal sign right there. Click that. And there it is. Now here's the best part about all this, is that this is a uh, like a scratch pad. I can change a function, and that change will, will just flow down through the scratch pad. So let's say, well, I didn't really mean x. I meant x squared. That's what I meant to do. And there it is. It just updated everything for me. So this is a live sheet. As I make changes, they'll just, they'll just flow down through the sheet, just like on a spreadsheet. So those are the three different equal signs. There are others, actually, than these three, but these are the three you're going to care about the first. Uh, first, There's the colon equals, which means I want to tell MathCAD something, and it, you uh, access that, that either under the Operators uh, tab there, or you can just hit the full colon on your keyboard, and that'll make that. This equal sign says, MathCAD, you tell me something, and that really is the equal sign on your keyboard. 
And the last one is that little arrow to the right there. That's a symbolic equals. That's telling to do something symbolically for me. And there it is. So I've got all this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Can you make a plot? Um, yes, you can. Now, the plotting is a little odd in MathCAD, but it's, it's capable. So it, the simplest plot is something called a quick plot. So there it is right there. Go to Plots, Insert Plot, and I want an XY plot. So I'm going to click that, and there it is. All you got to do now is put an X there and an F of X there. And there's my plot. There's what it looks like. Well, maybe I didn't want that x squared. Maybe that was a, I changed my mind. Get rid of that. And now it just updated the plot for me. Um, I can change all kinds of things on this just right on the screen. If I want to change the plot limits, just go ahead and change the plot limits. Let's go from minus 0.5 to 0.5. Click there. Okay, just did that for me and minus 10 to 10. Maybe I want to go from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. So go minus 2 times. The way you get pi is go to math symbols and where's pi? Right there. Just going to click that. There it is. And I'm going to make this 2 pi as well. Now the other way to get a pi is hit a P and control G. That's a, a shortcut to get Greek letters is control G. And there it is. Okay, it looks pretty good. And I can change, let's see, what other things can I change here? Go to plots. Maybe I want to change the trace color. Let me make it red. There we go. And maybe I want the weight, uh, trace thickness. There we go. I'll make it a real heavy line. So there you go. We've gone through equal signs and functions now. And plots, touched on symbolics. And uh, one of the things you can do here that's really neat is that MathCAD will track units. So if I'm going to say mass is 20 kilograms, well, what if I want it in some other unit? Well, the unit of mass in the English system, I hate to tell you this, is slugs. There it is, 1.37 slugs. And if I have a distance is 20.5 inches, just hit equals, there it is in meters. MathCAD appears to work internally in metric units. So you type in whatever units you happen to know, and it converts everything for you. Well, maybe I don't want that in inches. Maybe I want that in feet. There it is in feet. There it is in miles. OK, I can, I can probably come up with some weirder unit in here if I want to, but that's, that's good enough for now. Let's make it millimeters. There we go. So it'll track units for you. And what I want to do here is a sample calculation. I'm going to calculate the frequency of a vibrating string. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it wrong first, and then we're going to, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to just go ahead and type in, the, oops, type in the equation here without defining any of the, of the uh, variables. And we'll do that here in a second. I'm going to need a square root here. And so the easiest way to do a square root is just backslash on the keyboard. T, I'm just going to make a capital T over rho. Well, I want rho, the Greek letter rho, so I'm going to hit R and control G. The other way to do it is to go and pick it out under symbols. Okay, well, it doesn't know what to do here because I haven't defined any of that stuff. Well, I do a lot of work on guitars and the units are all over the place. I happen to know that on my guitar, the length of the string is 25.5 inches. That's the fender scale, if anybody cares. The tension is, a, whoops, the tension is about 10 pounds. LBF is pounds, okay, pounds force. Rho, now rho is mass per unit length, which is really uh, the density of the material times the cross-sectional area of the string. So I know that my diameter is 0 0.010 inches, okay, next, and uh, let's see, the area is pi over 4 times diameter squared, that's pi r squared, pi over 4 times diameter squared, and that's in some funny, there's in meters squared. Let me, let me move this over for you here. Actually, to make more use of the screen, one of the things you can do is go up to document, and let's change that to landscape. See, there we go. Now we got room to work. So there it is in meters squared. Well, that's kind of a tiny number. How about millimeters squared? That looks eh, about right. And the density of steel, 
So row, control G. Now I want to put a text subscript on here. So I'm going to hit control and then underscore. And I'm just going to call that steel. Well, I only happen to know this number in uh, metric units. It happens to be uh, 7,850 kilograms per cubic meter. So based on that, rho, which is now my mass per unit length, is density of steel oops, times the area. And so now I've got kilograms per meter, which is right. That's density per unit length, or mass per unit length, I should say. And hit that. Well, it comes out 258. That's about right, actually. I was going for the, see, the B string, so that's pretty close. One over seconds, what's that? Well, it's actually hertz. Let's just make this hertz. And there it is. Now, what if I say, well, let's see here. I want, you know, that's an awfully small B string. Let's make it something a little more reasonable. Here we go. Well, geez, the, the frequency went down. I might have to raise the tension a little bit. Let's bump the tension up. Still not enough. Wow, that's, that big string's killing me here. Well, that's, that's closer. So you see the deal here. This is in inches, pounds, feet, in, or pounds force, inches, kilograms per meter cubed, and there it, it comes out in hertz. Okay, so there's a brief introduction to MathCAD Prime. If there's interest, I can make more videos here, and I can do plotting, symbolics, whatever you guys like. So uh, put something in the comments, and I'll take a look. And if, if people are interested, I'm happy to do more. I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.